Hey guys, it's Fifi and I want to come on here today for a quick word to remind you the same power that was with Moses is with you. The same God that was with Moses is with you every day of your life. And um, this is going to be a really quick word, but I want you to really understand what I just said. It's a difference to hear it and it's a difference to believe it. The same God that was with Moses that parted the Red Sea, his spirit dwells within you. His presence is all around you. He is your provider. He is your protector. He is your healer. He is everything that you need. So you lack nothing, daughter. You lack nothing, son. Cry out to him. I don't care what it is. Praise him. Worship him. Get into that secret place. Show him that he's important to you. Show him he means more to you than, than everything. Whatever you do before you praise the Lord is more important to you than him. I pray that the idols in your life are being canceled even now. God is our everything and we have to show him and bow to him and let him know now while we in this earth realm. He loves to hear that. He is your first love. Don't make him your second or your third. He's your first love before your husband, before your wife, before your children, before your friends, before your job, before your business. Praise him and all things will be added unto you. When he tells us to seek ye first the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God, not the kingdom of you, the kingdom of God. I just encourage you. I'm so full right now. And I just encourage you to seek his face. Seek his face and he will show himself upon you. You will feel Holy Spirit in a way you have never felt him. You will feel the power of God like you have never felt his power. And I hope that this has inspired you in any way to really seek his face. I challenge you today to turn on your favorite song, a uh, worship song. And when, as I was listening and walking this morning, the Lord said to no listen, like listen to the words, dwell in what the words are saying. And I've listened to the song and I've praised him so many times, but this morning I really internalized really what those words were saying. And it hit my spirit in a way that the song never has. And it's the same song I've listened to over and over because it's my favorite song. So I just encourage you on today brothers and sisters, to really seek the Lord and turn on your favorite worship song, but really internalize what the words are saying. Slow down your mind and really listen to what the words are saying and sing it and say it aloud. And look at yourself as you say the words. Like try to connect with the words. Try to really connect with what you're saying and believe, you know, believe the things that you're saying and praise him. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day, and I'll see you guys next time.